Are you aware that God has a claim on your soul? He gave you a soul that you might glorify him. He gave you a soul that you might worship him. He gave you a soul that you might praise him. He gave you a soul that you might love him. He gave you a soul that you might serve him. But what have you done with the soul that God has given you? I'll tell you what you've done. You've done the complete opposite. Because instead of glorifying God, you've glorified yourself. Instead of worshipping God, you've worshipped yourself. Instead of praising God, you have praised yourself. Instead of loving God, you have loved yourself. Instead of serving God, you have served yourself with your soul. Now, while initially the soul came from God's hand as a living soul, when Adam disobeyed God, the soul of man became a dying soul. God warned Adam that if he partook of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that he would die. That death impacted both body and soul. The moment that Adam flagrantly disobeyed God, the moment that he ate of the forbidden tree, Adam's body and soul began to die. You see, the soul is in a deadened state, in its unconverted state. The scriptures tell us that. The soul that sinneth, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. This is why you as an unconverted person has no interest in spiritual things. This is why you run. This is why you run from anything that has any semblance of God about it. This is why prayer and the reading of scriptures and living a holy life and living a life of holiness are matters that you have absolutely no interest in whatsoever. Your soul is in a dead end state. It cares not for the things of God. For the gospel is good news. Because we get an, a little insight into what happened at the cross of Calvary in Isaiah 53. And we're thinking about the soul here. And in Isaiah 53 verse 10 we, are, we read that Christ made his soul an offering for sin. He shall see of the travail of his soul and be satisfied. And so tonight, your soul can be saved from death and hell and destruction in the lake of fire. Why? Because God the Son gave his soul as an offering for sin. 